What's going on everyone and welcome back to this trip through New England, New York, and Canada. <laughs> I need to come up with a better name for this. New Canada, York. I don't know. <laughs> We're here in Maine. Yes, our first time in Maine. We're gonna be checking out both of the parks today, starting with Funtown Splashtown USA. Look at this wooden roller coaster, guys. This is awesome. I've heard so many good things about Excalibur, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're going to be riding all of the craziest roller coasters in Maine. Of course, not a state known for its coasters. There's not a ton here, but Excalibur is great. And then also at Palace Playland, they have a few coasters, such as Sea Viper, which I'm looking forward to. And that's a boardwalk park. Funtown is located in Seiko, Maine, which is about 10 minutes from the coastline. So this park is very, very close to Old Orchard Beach. And then Palace Playland is actually on Old Orchard Beach on a boardwalk, which is super cool. I love boardwalk parks. And I just can't get over the look of this thing. It is so freaking cool looking. You looking forward to this? Yes, very. I can't wait to see how it is. I love a good wooden coaster. I love a good small park. I'm very excited. It's going to be so cute. <laughs> and if you missed our last video from Canopy Lake Park in New Hampshire, definitely go check that out. This is day two of the trip. That was day one. The vlog turnout was actually great. I definitely love this region of America for theme parks. They're not very big, but just super charming. And hopefully this park is just like that too. Yay! <laughs> Here we is, quaint little entrance. There's also a water park too, with the name Funtown Splashdown. Obviously that implies water park and amusement park. And the water park looks great. We're not gonna be checking it out this visit, but we will be checking out everything that there is to see in this dry park, including this huge drop tower. And before we do head in here, I wanna give a special thanks to Funtown for providing us with complimentary admission for today. I'm really looking forward to checking out your park. Here we go. I already love the, like, the little Camelot theming. Wait till you guys see the station. It's like a little castle. They make it very obvious that Excalibur is their headlining attraction. The CCI Woody opened in 1998. Also, Evan, welcome back to Coaster Dash yeah. once again. <laughs> Man, I'm pumped for this. For this has a lot of laterals. Off we go on Excalibur, one of my most anticipated coasters of the trip. And also shout out Funtown for letting us film today. Makes the vlog so much more exciting. Oh, look at the weeds growing into the track. I love when that happens. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> Tallest and fastest roller coaster in Maine. Not that there's that much competition, but still cool. 100 feet tall, 55 miles per hour. I love the flags. Me too. I love the flags and I love the setting. This is going to be so cool flying through the woods. Let's go. Woo! Here we go. Woo! better coasters I've ever been on for laterals. It's pretty insane. Oh, wow. This thing tosses you to side to side. Woo. Wow, it's definitely more intense in the back. 
All right, we just got our two rides on Excalibur, one in the front, one in the back, and that was definitely a really fun ride. It's a wonder why this isn't talked about at all. It's it's a super fun coaster, a very long ride, um, great setting in the forest. That's something I love about it, and it's very lateral heavy. Don't expect too much airtime. There's definitely airtime moments, so it's not void of airtime by any means. I wouldn't say that's a con, but it's definitely a lateral centric ride, and there's a ton on this ride. It's definitely one of the best coasters I've ever been on for laterals, so that's definitely a plus. It kind of does remind me, I know Evan, you were saying this earlier, like a miniature legend. Yeah, yeah, like more of a tame a version. A tamer legend. I mean, it, it, legend is, of course, in its own little category just because of how insane that ride is. But in some ways, this ride's more fun because legend is almost one of those rides you get done. You're like, okay, I always got to take a little break. The ladder is almost <laughs> too much. It's almost too much of a ride. But like this one is like that perfect kind of level where it's not an elite coaster, but it's not a family coaster either. Too, Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. And yeah, like the retracking too that they've done over the past couple off seasons is great. And they put it in the lateral heavy spots where you would definitely need it. So that was running excellent. Yeah, no, that was really good. It is kind of like a tamer legend. And honestly, like the theming is really good. Like they put a lot of effort into this like medieval castle theming. Play some like medieval music in the station and that would be really cool. Yeah, the one thing about this park I will say, it's actually a really cute park, but it seems to be missing some music. I just feel like more of that would be great because that can make the park a lot more lively. And there weren't many people, there aren't many people here in general, but there weren't many people in the station like at all. So it just felt like a little dead, um, but that's not the ride's fault. The ride is awesome. It's a great, it's a great ride to have here. Absolutely, it's an excellent headliner. Like I can't imagine this park without something like that. And I think we're gonna head on to the log flume next because it is a scorcher today. Today and yesterday, over 90 degrees. Like we're dying out here. Like we're in upper New England. I thought it was gonna be nice and cool up here in the summer, but guess not. Cool fun fact about Thunder Falls, it is the tallest and longest log flume in New England. So this should be a great ride. Already we were looking at it from outside the park and it looked to have a really nice layout and a beautiful setting through the woods. I'm really looking forward to this. I love me a log flume. Here we go. Thunder Falls. It's nice and shaded where we are right now. This is so nice. We got a little drop right away. What in the world is going on here? Oh, oh that feels so good. <laughs> Your socks are done. Like I said, it's so hot guys. So this is very refreshing today. I like how fast this log flume is. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah, we're like flying. Yeah, we are. We're gonna hit this corner with so much speed. Oh, oh no. So oh, why does the log flume have amazing laterals too? Oh, look at these like little drops. These are so cool. Oh, oh my God. This is so cool. Oh! oh my God, so Dude, this feels amazing. Yeah, most log flumes, you're, you're just going nice and slow. You got a huge drop at the end here. Woo! Oh, man, here we go. Whoa! Oh! 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 That felt so good! Oh, man. Great drop, too. Man, that was great. I really liked that log flume. It had, like perfect amount of wetness. The drop at the end was great. You keep a really good pace. Like Yeah. No, that was like really fun. It didn't get me completely drenched. It got Whoa. me like just the right amount. Oh, but that so, would get you drenched. There's yeah, a geyser right. that just went off. I wonder yeah. if that's randomized. No, I think people pay over there. I wouldn't mind um, if someone got us. Honestly. Yeah. No, that was really good. It was so fast. It was so fun. That was a really good log flume. Yeah, it's perfect on a warm summer day. It's like really, really hot today. So that water felt so good. It's nice and cool too in there. Yeah, so yeah, that was that's great. fantastic. Honestly, that's one of the, that might be the best log flume I've done at a park of this scale. Like that was great. That was really enjoyable. This park is so pretty. It's very nicely landscaped around here. And look at this drop tower. It looks massive. We're definitely gonna have to give that a spin. Whispering Pines Hotel is a new dark ride from last year. It's great to see that they're still investing in new rides in this park. And you said it was nice and air conditioned in there. So. Oh yeah, it feels so good. I can't <laughs> wait to go do that ride. Yeah. It feels so good. We're gonna get on this wild mouse next and then we'll definitely check out this dark ride. But yeah, this park is so nice and it looks like they have a really nice balance of uh, amusement rides as well. Got a nice Mauer Wild Mouse open in 2009. Very nice option as a family coaster because I've been doing a lot of spinning mice lately that are just plopped down for like carnivals and those suck, they're so rough. This is just a classic mouse. These are really fun. Here we go. On the wild mouse. I like the color scheme for this, the purple and green. You don't see too many purple roller coasters out there. Come on, Mauer. Oh, oh nice laterals. <laughs> Not too rough. Sliding around over there. I'm trying so hard to hold 
anywhere oh my gosh whoa here comes the drops Enjoyed that for what it is, solid family coaster. Having said that, I would actually love to see a modern family coaster come to this park at some point too, because down to its core, this seems to be another family owned park, seem to love their family attractions. So I think that'd be a great addition. Not bad. <laughs> it was not bad, just insane laterals. I had to hold on real tight. And yeah. <laughs> kind of hurt my leg. a thing for laterals, doesn't kinda it? And I hit my leg into the side. But yeah, this park is just like full of laterals. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, it's just Even a wild the log plume. Yeah, it's just a wild mouse coaster. I mean, it's all right. I mean, at least it's smooth. It's just I'm not a huge fan of those rides. It's totally just kind of comfortable. Yeah. So let's check out the Stark right now. Yeah, for sure. Can't wait for this. Yeah. Oh god, it feels good. And wow, look at this theming. And rescue the guests. Aim and activate the curse alone. Whoa. <laughs> this, see, this is the kind of music I want to see throughout the rest of the yeah. park. This is very atmospheric. This is great. What is this thing? It's like a ghost vacuum cleaner thing. <laughs> like we suck the ghost soul. Oh, whatever am I going to do? That which is cursed has turned my hotel into a madhouse. Please try to dispel this evil curse. Oh, nice. This is kind of cool. Hotel. It's nice. Yeah, this is really good theming for a small park. By the way, I do believe this is a Sally Dark ride. Sally's been doing some great things lately. Yeah, wow, look at this. And the targets activate different theming effects. Nice mix of screens and practical sets as well. Wow, this is kind of creepy. Whoa! Very nice. Whoa, that got me. Whoa, dude! This is so cool. The lightning is perfect too for this. Whoa, what is going on here? Holy hell. Did we save them? Unreal. I think so. Whoa, this is actually really good. This is unbelievable. <laughs> There's smoke and everything. Whoa! Whoa that reveal is crazy. I think it's saving my hotel and rescuing me. And Bro, honestly, it was a pleasure. That was fire. That was fire. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so impressive. Small parks, they don't go that hard that often. Like that was wild. <laughs> that was actually really good. That was a really good dark ride. New for 2023 dark ride. You don't see that often at these small parks. That was actually so impressive. I'd say that's the highest quality thing in this park. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that doesn't even seem like it should be here. I mean, the quality of that was so good. You don't even need the guns. Like, it's so interesting. Right? The lighting effects, like the fact that it has like a story. Every effect seemed to be working. Yeah, was so I was well so impressed by that. I mean, that was we so, got so good. princess walking around. Fun Town? What's going on? <laughs> what the heck? No, but I was blown away. That was yeah, such that a was great so ride. Good. Yeah, that was a Such really a great ride. ride. See that dome over there? We got another indoor scrambler. So if you watch Canopy Lake Park, that video, yeah, this area of the country is loaded with scrambler flat rides that they actually put indoor with all these music and lighting effects. And it is awesome. I can't wait to try this one because I've heard it is excellent. I have no idea what to expect from this. because like a bunch of stuff on the wall. So. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go crazy. This is also the only like neon scrambler that I've ever seen. This looks so cool. The lasers and everything. Lights are off. Let's get this party started, baby. a movie 
we're cooking with this one. I don't even know what's going on. It feels like I'm high. What is that? Is that E.T.? My guy E.T.? What? <laughs> Let him cook. Damn, let's go. That was so freaking cool. I feel like I've lost my scrambler virginity on this trip. That was absolutely amazing. Definitely the best scrambler I've ever done. I really Oh, that was it. a whole experience. I mean, that's basically like a show, actually. And I kind of like that the ride cycle was long and slow. Like, it's not super intense. So we can kind of just take in all the effects and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it felt like a family ride. Yeah, it felt like basically just like a 40 theater, like a moving show in a way. So more than like just like a flat ride. I mean, that was just amazing. That was like a top tier experience for sure. Yeah, like Canopy Lake Parks was not as decorated, but definitely a little more intense. No, I almost like that this is a little yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, Canopy Lakes was more just like a couple of lights and stuff. This was like a full on presentation and show. It was so cool. That was yeah, so that cool. was like a whole show. I liked how the ride cycle wasn't as intense and you could just like take it in. Um, that was that was just really cool. That was a good one. Dude, Fun Town has all these really cool rides. I know, this place is really, really I'm, amazing. I'm like really surprised. I'm impressed. Dragon's Descent here is advertised as the tallest drop tower in Upper New England. Of course, the one at Six Flags New England is a little bit taller, but this theming around this park is, is really nice. Off we go. This one, I believe, is just a thrust tower. Just drops you fast at the top, does not launch you. Oh yeah. Great views of Excalibur. That looks super cool from here. Makes you appreciate how wooded this park is. It's a beautiful location. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, that was so intense! Oh my god. Wow, that was so surprising. This is an s and drop tower. Usually these don't impress me very much, but that one was crazy intense at the top. Great views too. That was great, forceful drop, great views. I'm just honestly impressed by how every single ride that we've done at Funtown, of course, we're going out of the way for the ones that look interesting to us, but everything's been really good quality. And for a park of this scale, it's, it's been massively impressive, actually. Um, that was actually really good. That drop surprised me. Yeah, no, those are, those are always fun. Also, this presentation is absolutely awesome with the big dragon. Yeah, this is an awesome ride, actually. I love the whole dragon and then the, the color of the ride, too. Yeah, I like how it's multiple colors. That's it does great. not look 200 feet, though, like it says. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And just like that, we are done with Fun Town. Got a bunch of laps on Excalibur, which is running great in this heat. Man, this park was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. If I did have to give one critique, I just think more audio around the park would be great because the atmosphere in some areas is a little dead, especially because the dry park is it's super busy. I don't know if it's like that all the time or if it's just because it's so hot out and everyone wants to go to the water park. That definitely seems to be the case because the water park is very busy. So that seems to be doing very well for them. And I'm so glad that this park is doing well because they almost closed permanently because of COVID. I would have been so devastated to lose a park this cool. Man, Fun Town is so awesome. All the rides that we've done today have been absolutely high quality attractions. Excalibur being a great headlining roller coaster. But my personal favorite thing in this park was probably the dark ride. I thought that was excellent. And I love the log flume and the indoor scrambler was so neat as well. Yeah, I really, 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 really like this park. I thought it was really cool. Like all the rides that we did, everything was like super cool and unique. Um, Excalibur was a lot of fun. Yeah, the dark ride was definitely a highlight for me. And so was that scramble. That was so cool. If I had to get one critique, I think it'd be the pricing. Like, we got in today thanks to the park and everything, but it was like $60 if we had to pay for a day ticket, which is kind of insane for a park like this. But besides that, I would say this park is definitely worth it if you're up here for sure. Yeah, no, this park is super cute. I like it here. It's a bit expensive. It's good that they're, you know, doing well, because if this park had to shut down after COVID, that would have sucked. So I'm glad they're making money. I'm glad they're on their grind. Yeah, these small parks in New England so far have been killing it. We're going to head to Palace Playland up next, and we will see you guys there. Here it is. We are in Old Orchard Beach for Palace Playland. I love these boardwalk parks. They have such kinetic atmospheres. This one has a lot of really cool flat rides, a couple of roller coasters to get on. Super pumped to head in. Obviously, with it being my first time in Maine, it's also my first time in Old Orchard Beach. Very nice area. It's pretty cute. And we're in 
Look at that. Their largest coaster, Sea Viper, is definitely very imposing in the skyline, but it's a quirky, weird ride. We'll talk all about it when we get up closer. This park actually dates back to 1902, so it's got quite a bit of history. The thing's been around for a long time. But this new coaster here, Sea Viper, is actually quite recent. It opened in 2018, and this ride is surprisingly kind of massive, but you guys are not going to believe who manufactured this. This is Preston and Barbieri. Like, what in the world? It looks like a janky fair coaster, but it's pretty new, so I hope it's smooth and, and, and a fun ride. And also, before we do get on, I want to give a thanks to Palace Playland for hooking up the complimentary wristbands for today. These trips are expensive, so we really appreciate it. And check out the location for this coaster too. Turn around, there it is, Old Orchard Beach. Here we go on Sea Viper. Will this be smooth or a janky mess? That's the question. But I guess we'll find out here shortly. The location is amazing on the water though. I can't wait for the view at the top. Also shout out to the park for letting us film on everything as well. Hey, nice. This thing's actually like really tall. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wow. All right, here we go. I'm really curious. Yeah, I, I'm curious to do it in the back because everyone does say that packs in a lot of laterals. It was smooth. The profiling wasn't the best, but it was a smooth coaster. Man, that was like one of those surprisingly not shit coasters I've ever been on. I really liked it. It was super smooth and it had a lot of nice like positive lateral forces. Nothing super extreme. Like it's definitely still a family coaster, but the setting is amazing. And I actually really enjoyed the ride. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, no, that was not bad. I expected it to be like a regular, like janky boardwalk coaster, but really it's pretty smooth. It's fun. It's not bad. Yeah, a lot of these boardwalk coasters, you kind of just get on it, get the credit and then leave it just because it's usually pretty painful. Um, but that was actually really good. I was surprised by that, especially in the back. It's got some nice little whip on it too. Yeah, the forces are not half bad actually. Yeah, I, yeah, I highly for recommend sure. it. If you're already going to Fun Town, it's, it's worth a stop alone for Sea Viper actually. Uh, two other coasters you get in this park, one of which is Orient Express. And I actually really like how this is presented because it kind of looks like a miniature Sea Viper with the same color scheme and everything. Even the track kind of looks the same. So yeah, let's get on this and uh, knock out this park pretty quickly here. Oh man, what a launch. Wisdom rides. Oh, oh man, but this is like already my favorite kitty coaster because of the view. That's beautiful. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? That was a freaking crazy thing that just happened. Oh my god. No! No! Oh! oh! <laughs> this is amazing. This is like one of the best kitty coasters I've ever been on. Dude, that was one of the most surprising kitty coasters I've ever been on. I know it's it's it sounds ridiculous. It's just a tiny little thing, but that was crazy. I don't really know what about that was good in your opinion. <laughs> the laterals, dude, it's sustained as hell. No. The view of the water. I guess the water was nice, but that was about it. Other than that, typical janky kids. Honestly, coaster. top 10 overall. That was pretty crazy. I mean, it just whips you around that. It's like a really surprising thing too. You don't expect it to look small, but it, man, it okay, it's a not objectively good, but like, it's, it's surprisingly good. It's surprisingly yes. crazy. I don't know. I, it's crazy, I'll tell you that. One more coaster to get on Wipeout, and then I'm gonna try this flat ride over here, which is new for 2024. All right, hopefully this doesn't suck too bad. <laughs> sea Viper looks great from here though. A little bit of theming. <laughs> oh! Oh, This thing reeks! The views are nice. Yeah. The views are nice, look at this. This one's actually a lot smoother than like a lot of the others I've been on. I just rode one of these in Kentucky and it was trash. This flat ride here, Kraken, opened just this year, actually potentially a couple days ago. It's very, very freaking new. This looks great. It's an inverting pendulum ride. Evan and Sam decided to set this one out because they're not huge into spinning flat rides like this. And frankly, I'm not either, but this one actually looks pretty enjoyable. Here it goes upside down. Oh, wow. I don't know, maybe this will make me feel a little queasy, but I figured I'd give it a go, it's new. Gotta show some respect. Subscribe to Coaster Dad. Let's go! <laughs> I have my whole cult up here. This is 
so funny. Man, hopefully this doesn't mess me up too bad. Oh boy. It's pretty compact, so it doesn't swing that far out. No! Oh! I literally don't know where I'm sitting down or not. This makes me feel a little nauseous. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Shit. This boardwalk park really does have like a carnival atmosphere to it. You had a lot of people coming up to you being like, you want to play these games and like just all the flashy lights and everything. Not my kind of thing personally. I enjoy the rides though. Rides have been fun, especially Sea Viper. We're gonna hop on the Ferris wheel now. Up we go. Beautiful. This beach is actually like incredibly gorgeous. Maybe it's the lighting, I don't know, but. Highly recommend coming out to the pier just across the way. Absolutely incredible views of Old Orchard Beach and the Boardwalk Park. Great place to conclude the video as well. Very successful day. Everything went according to plan. It was a hot one, but very fun. I really enjoyed both parks. I would say for Palace Playland, I don't love the carnival vibe of it. I definitely prefer some other Warwalk parks, especially those that are actually on piers. Those are really cool. But still, the ride lineup's not half bad, and Sea Viper was a big surprise, actually. Fun Town, though, was absolutely a highlight. I really enjoyed Fun Town. That was great. Yeah, no, it's really... Yeah, no, <laughs> I liked it here, but it is very carnival vibes, more so than other piers. I mean, you get that with a lot of boardwalk parks, but really here, it just felt like a carnival. Um, I still like it. I love the location. I love being able to see the water, but definitely Fun Town. I really enjoyed it. It's a really cute little small park. Yeah, Fun Town Splash Town was the highlight today, but in, just in general, I mean, this park was nice too. The vibes and everything was good, and all the credits were open. We got it done pretty quickly. And just in general, this day was kind of relaxed. Like, you didn't really have the stress that like, you get when you go to like, a big giant amusement park or something. And so it was just nice kind of doing some credits and doing some smaller stuff and underrated things. So it was a great day. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to head on to check out some of the Portland lighthouses, but I'll sign off now. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to be heading up to upstate New Hampshire to check out two of their smaller amusement parks, Storyland and Santa's Village, which are widely considered to be two of the best kids parks in the world. We do theme park vlogs big and small here on this channel. I can't wait to check those out. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out everyone.